This is Twit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that, too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today. So starting with Android 13 Go Edition. What is Go Edition? This is the like version of Android that is meant to bring as much of Android's new features and, and, and featurey goodness to lower spec devices. And, uh, you know, we recently had a couple of months ago the official release of Android 13. And so now we're starting to see that Android 13 Go Edition is out. It's released, getting some significant upgrades that'll make those low powered devices more modern feeling. And how? Because last year uh, was on, on the Android 12 side of things, the non Go version of things. Uh, was all about Material U and this really big visual refresh and everything. And uh, Android Go last year did not get any of that. So here we are a year later, Android 13 Go Edition gets the Material U support. Uh, it gets the dynamic color theming, although in order to do dynamic color theming on these lower spec, lower storage devices, they've limited the color schemes to four options instead of 16, which I think, okay, that's, that's actually great. I feel like, didn't it launch with four options on regular Android? I think it did. I think it 12, did. 12, so it's kind of like, serves. Yeah. No, biggie, no biggie. I think that's great. It's a great uh, trade-off. Now, you know, it's 16, so we have a lot of uh, choice on our Pixel 7s and all that kind of stuff. But if you're on a Go device, you at least get four to choose from. Also includes the Discover feed, which is that feed off to the left. So if you swipe right from the home screen, you get that Discover feed, which I'll be honest, I hate the Discover feed at this point. Like anytime I go in there, I just get angry because it's so full of like, it's so it's just so full of, dare I say, crap, garbage. What do you? You think, can say Brian? it. Can I? Uh, or you can I say guess it. I, I just think you did. Can say it. I just did. It's six hundred. It's six hundred one episodes. You made that hand gesture. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> So. I have to Google that hand gesture and, and be sure that it isn't like incredibly offensive. It probably is. Uh, Do we have to edit uh, that well, out? Well, it, it, it could be. Okay. I didn't but know I that. Would, I, not here. I, I mean, okay. people will understand. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, I was just showing it, off the watch. Maybe a double entendre. Ooh, okay. We'll, we'll have to decide about that. But anyways, I don't know. Do you like the Discover feed, Ron? I love the Discover feed. Do you? I use I use the Discover feed probably more often than anything on the phone at all. Okay, I'm looking at my Discover feed. Let's see what I love my Discover feed. Amazing have, quality content is in here. Well, so so yeah. So what I like about okay. the Discover feed I mean, so is so that good. it it accurately uses my Google search history to serve me up content that <laughs> I actually am interested in. Okay. Um, no assignments. My, all right. The only thing I complain about with it is that sometimes things sneak in there like basketball and stuff I don't care about. But um, yeah, why does that but happen? Like, I don't understand why that happens. Well, if this what, is supposed to be totally relevant to you. You could, you could go deep in it if you want to. If you go into um, – um, if you go into the, oh, geez, where is it? I don't want to do the thing where I'm looking at to figure it out, but I've been in the settings for the Discover feed. And it, yeah, if you, okay, so if you go upper right hand corner, Jason, okay. and you tap on your face, mm -hmm. okay, and then you choose settings. I love tapping on your face, by the way. Okay. And then um, manage your interests oh, right there. In the oh, this will be interesting. All right, everybody. Welcome okay. to my interests. So what you've got then is you get two lists of your interests <laughs> and what you're not interested in. Okay. Right? And All so right. I'm, in, really, I'm really kind so, of kind of frightened so, here. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk through mine. You can't, yeah, really, you, can show can't, can't, you can't really see it. But so under your interests, like for me, I have proactively told it I follow the New York Mets and World Cup soccer. Okay. Now, based on, based on my activity, it's giving me content about Black Panther, comic books, Magic Kingdom, Marvel Studios, Epcot, uh, HBO, Twitter, Pinball, uh, Indie Rock, The Smiths, okay. New York, Italian Cuisine. 
So Video I guess, games. So I guess the like more of those that you put in there, you do you actually well, see uh, no, the Smiths? No, that, that's, the, that, that's the thing. <laughs> that whole list that I just rattled off, yeah. all the things that, that it has figured out about me, that, oh. it, 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 that, is, that is based on your activity. And basically, this is based on my search activity of things I've searched for or content I've consumed via Google. So it has listened and accurately curated a Discover tab based on my interests that I love. I've only told it I'm interested in two things. Mm-hmm. And and so I think that's really pretty good. Now, the list of things I'm not interested in is much longer because I've proactively told Discover, don't show me this stuff. So like <laughs> uh, the Atlanta Braves. That's a pretty funny list, actually. <laughs> Brett, Brett, Brett Kavanaugh, Donald Trump Jr., Wait, Family hold Guy. Hold on, Ron. Look at, look at Jason's. <laughs> Al, Jason's Al, Ro- Al Roker. At some point, uh, I decided no more Al Roker. Get out like of my Alt-J? feed. Alt-J? Alt-J is good. What is Alt-J? 1989. It's a band. Oh, okay. Um, um, uh, the Chicago Bears. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah, Donald Trump, get out of there. For Taylor sure. Swift. Uh, uh, Taylor Swift. Did I put that in a in what, don't come up here? It's a blank space. Blank really space. Like, what, yeah, the video. Any Taylor Swift is fine, but definitely not that video. Apparently, I said not interested what, in that. What I really like is that no the majority problem. of my not interested is basically, is basically all the other teams in the National League East. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Chris I, Hardwick. I put in my not interested. This is Jason. This is really you have quite uh, wow. Also, Jason at the bottom there are sources. Control. Am I? There, Jason at the bottom there are sources. Yeah. So not only is it topic based, but I told um, I said don't give me anything from Fox News. Hi. So I never see anything from Fox News. Like how great is you? You chose the New York Post. What the heck? I don't know. <laughs> I, apparently, see that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know why the, why I did any of these things. It's probably like, I got a result, and I was like I don't like yeah. that result. Go away. Well, and then it like go back. Go Poof, back to your discover. Go back to your discover tab. Uh, I feel like I'm schooling you on discover. So go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. Go back. All right. There we go. So on a story, go back to that uh, Miley Cyrus story, whatever the one that you. you oh, the, you this back, one that I was right? like, okay, okay, cool. Noah Cyrus hit, hit, wears a see-through the, white dress. Okay. <laughs> hit the hit the hit the hamburger. No, don't, tapping on it doesn't it is well, not going to help. You this said now. go back to it. I did. Okay. No, okay so now hit the hit the hamburger menu. Okay. All right. And then now here you can say not interested in this, right? Not interested in maybe, the topic. <laughs> where you know what's missing show. here, Ron? Maybe later. Maybe later. Why is it's maybe later point. not Very in there? Yeah, yeah, it's so. a good point. Um, okay, so not interested in Noah Cyrus, I suppose. Sure, I can yeah, do that's that. fair. Okay, see, and I've done that, and now it's going to appear in that list of of nothing. Mm-hmm. So, of don't show so. me these things. Yeah, I don't know. I mean. Sometimes I open this, like, I feel like right now I'm opening it and I'm like, oh, actually there are some good things in here, but I've had other times where I open it and I, and it feels like it, it just feels like a, like a link farm or something. You know what I mean? Like, like it's showing me all those same types of stories that appear on like uh, outbrain or something along those lines. And I'm like, eh, like I would, I would never turn here to find, to spend time. I would much rather open Reddit and like read, you know, the news items that appear there. Anyways, yeah. whew, that was a, that was a, <laughs> that was a little, uh, whatever. That was a journey. There we go. Journey outside of the actual story. So anyway, so if you've been missing discover and everything we just talked about and you're on an Android, uh, go edition device, there you go. Uh, notification permissions per app language preferences coming, uh, project mainline support. That's actually really cool because that allows, you know, parts of the OS to be updated, uh, outside of a major update, you know, piecemeal, uh, piece by piece, kind of going around the carriers. And for, I think, low low cost devices, I think that's actually a really big deal because low cost devices often carry with them a larger sacrifice as far as control by the carriers, things like that. So that seems like a way around that. Uh, Google now requires at least two gigs of RAM for Go devices. So the minimum device to to qualify for Go has now increased to two gigs, which I think is pretty fair in this day and age if you got less than that what kind of phone you know experience are you actually going to have and you can expect these devices to start hitting in 2023 uh important to note over 250 monthly uh devices uh running android go uh 50 250 million sorry monthly devices are running android go up by 50 million from december of last year so there you go boom um, so yeah, all you Android, uh, go edition fans out there, that top story is for you.
Uh, thanks for uh, taking me on a little journey there, Ron. I appreciate it. It was good. Yeah. I'm glad I could be your tour guide on the good ship <laughs> Discover, um, which I, I think is a good, I, I think it's, I mean, maybe I'm alone. I don't know you and the all about Android community after 601 episodes, if you use the Discover, it's funny because it's like a lot of the content in the Discover um, portion of it is very similar to Google News. Like often what I'll do and like what I find myself when I'm idle with my phone is I just swipe right yeah. and I go through the, dis the discover tab and I get to the bottom of it and then I go to the news tab and I try to see how many are the same stories. Um, so I, but it's essentially the same yeah. as the Google news filtering. So I guess so, so. it just feels sometimes yeah. feels like more clickbait type stuff gets through and uh, that's when yeah. I kind of tune out. So, yeah.